In this video, we are going to review the data that has been sourced and mapped so far from both Salesforce CRM and AWS S3. For this, we will use Data Explorer and Query Editor tools of Data Cloud. Let's review the mapping with the help of a Data Explorer, where we are going to check DMOs and verify the data is correctly present in the DMOs. Go to Data Explorer. Data space will be default object, will be data model object. Let's start with individual object. You'll notice there are records coming from Salesforce, the data sources Salesforce contact object, and it should be followed with AWS3 bootcamp. Salesforce coming from customer aid with AWS3 file. So you see that you confirm that data from both the sources is correctly present in individual object. Next, let's look at contact point email object. These are the email addresses coming from data source Salesforce. And email addresses at the bottom are coming from the transformation steps that we have executed. Next, let's look at parking space. These are the parking space records present. Let's look at party identification, where we'll see customer reward number and passport number coming from multiple sources. So this is coming from a WS Spree customer using the data cloud transformation. And these are passport numbers coming from Salesforce CRM. Next, let's look at parking reservation. These are the parking reservation records created. Let's look at goods product. These are the products which are created. Next sales order, these are the sales orders that are created. And finally, sales order product. These are the sales order product records. Same exploration can also be done with Query Editor. If you're comfortable with SQL, for that go to Create Query Editor. Click New. Let's give a name to this workspace. Let's call it as Data Exploration. Data space is default. Save it. In this again, you can look at Data Model Object, Data Link Object, Calculated Insights, and Data Graphs. We're going to use Data Model Object in the profile there is individual. These are the fields in the individual object. Let's create a query select from SSOP individual DLM. That's the technical name or the API name of the individual object. Let's remove the limit and query. These are all individual records created from two sources. Likewise, in the engagement, you can see sales order. Let's create a query. The object is SSOT sales order DLM. Remove the limit. And these are the sales order records, which are created all the fields or all the columns. So this way, can explore and verify the data and its mapping using Data Explorer, as well as using Query Editor.